comes to depression that comes postpartum. For women with emotional needs that need to be met, that are mental health issues as serious as postpartum um, depression. Uh, how can fertility health and hormonal health inform their treatments? How have you found you can better serve patients? So, the issue is with these women, it's a continuum of this lack of progesterone. So early when they're you know starting to have their periods and everything else, even at that time, they may show signs of lower levels of progesterone or polycystic ovarian syndrome. As they get older, then their cycles will become more irregular, more tail and brown bleeding. They may have uh, issues when they're trying to conceive. And then when they actually do conceive, they may have issues with recurrent miscarriage or preterm deliveries, all because of lack of progesterone. And then once they get through the pregnancy, then they have issues with postpartum depression. And so it's really important to have this understanding even before you get pregnant or before you hit that point of postpartum depression. If you're coming to us and you've never heard of any of this information, and you now have postpartum depression, most likely it's because of a lack of progesterone. And just with one single progesterone shot, typically the symptoms will go away within 24 hours. And for those of y'all who cannot take shots or don't wanna take shots, you can even have an oral treatment with progesterone and all of those things help. And then you can just, when the cycles resume, then you can consider doing the lab work to see what happens after ovulation. Are your progesterone levels low? And do you need supplementation kind of on a monthly basis just for 10 days out of the month? Not Nothing that would in any way kind of postpone your cycles or shut down ovulation or cover up the issues, but rather something to just come up underneath and support your cycle.